passenger train has derailed. As part of the first response, a volunteer search and rescue team arrives on the scene within minutes. In search and rescue, speed and knowledge are everything. In an event with so many unknowns, quickly achieving situational awareness is key. Inside each of these cars could be fires, hazardous materials, victims, and debris that first responders cannot see without endangering themselves. With them, this team carries both Skydio 2 and Skydio X2 for different purposes. Skydio drones can be flown without the need for an expert pilot and can be deployed in under two minutes. Because of the tight spaces in this train car, this responder has chosen to use the smaller Skydio 2 to enter. Another operator launches X2 to autonomously orbit the scene and provide color zoom and infrared perspective to spot fires, leaks, or passengers that might have been thrown from the train. This allows any first responder to provide advanced situational awareness in a fraction of the time required with manual drones and with better results. As this operator moves to the first car, he uses a single button to reduce the obstacle margin around the vehicle. This allows him to confidently fly through small spaces like windows and doors with the peace of mind that Skydio Autonomy provides. Skydio uses computer vision to map environments in real time without prior knowledge of the scene or terrain. This allows the drone to avoid contacting walls, obstacles, or other obstructions even inside the car and without any dependency on GPS. Within seconds, the team can visually search the train car, confirm that nobody is still inside, and move on to clearing the next car. Here, rescuers believe they hear victims inside the car, but access is difficult and risky. They choose to deploy the Skydio 2 again into the rear train passageway, which stands roughly 30 inches tall. Once inside, the UAS operator switches Skydio 2 into super zoom mode, allowing her to see a 360 degree view of the interior. This provides maximum visibility to look for any remaining victims or dangerous obstacles that could impact rescue crews. This ability to float through spaces gives Skydio a significant advantage over treaded or ground-based robots that would quickly become encumbered inside the car. As the rescue team prepares to remove victims from the train, the orbiting Skydio X2 continues to provide wide area coverage with both its color zoom and thermal video feeds. Though Skydio 2 and X2 differ in size and camera technology, their shared autonomy and obstacle avoidance capability allows these volunteers to search literally high and low with a single platform if needed. Being able to look down from hundreds of feet or look up just a few inches, all with the same drone, is an unparalleled development in search and rescue technology only possible with Skydio. As with any accident scene, documentation after the fact is critical. Skydio drones, equipped with Skydio 3D scan, allows investigators to autonomously capture thousands of photos of the entire site. This ability to autonomously map this large incident with such high precision is invaluable. And what could take several hours using a manual drone, takes less than an hour using a Skydio with 3D scan. Once the scene is fully captured, Skydio drones can wirelessly upload vast numbers of photos, videos, and 3D scan data sets collected during the flight so they can be easily stored and shared as evidence. With 3D scan, it becomes safe and simple to generate a high fidelity digital twin of the accident. With just these two Skydio drones, this small team can single-handedly provide but once took multiple teams to accomplish, requiring expensive equipment and significant training. 